Fox 4's Dion England has also been talking with witnesses and learning more about what happened. Dion. Hi there, Blake. Uh, just uh, as you heard uh, the information trickling in all day, uh, and we just learned that nine people are dead uh, after this mass shooting at the shopping mall, and five are injured. Now, earlier, police told us that nine victims were transported by ambulance to hospitals. Just minutes ago, we learned that two of those people died. Now, one local medical center released information revealing it was treating victims from the mall shooting ranging in age from five to six. 61 years old. Now, the gunman and police have just uh, confirmed this. It was just one person who went on this rampage. We are told that person is dead. According to police, an officer shot and killed him, an officer who was nearby and responded to the sound of gunfire at the Allen Premium Outlets Mall. Now, this was one of the busiest shopping days of the year with people preparing for Mother's Day weekend. We have heard many different accounts from people as they were walking from the event evacuated mall most all describe scrambling hunkering down in stores back storage rooms dressing rooms and every place they could run to a second later like pop 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 and we saw sparks flying like it was right in front of us so we just ran into the converse store they locked the door we uh, all hunkered down in the back and uh, that's that's where we stayed we just entered in the sketches and it was like 15, 20 rounds of the fire going on far, far, far. And everybody, like from the outside of the store, rushed to the store. They closed the door and they put us on the, all the way back on the storage. Next thing you know, we hear gunshots. And we're like, okay. My manager goes towards the door. Next thing you know, all you hear is like 50 to 60 gunshots. We're screaming at rapid like, fire. Rapid fire. You know, so many uh, emotional stories coming out of that shopping mall with people uh, just walking because, of course, they cannot get to their vehicles. Uh, even those who did not care to go on camera described uh, for us what they went through. One of those uh, stories resonated with me. A woman told me that she ran inside a store uh, and just kept going. She ended up going and getting out the back door and ended up in a remote parking lot. Now, when she got in that parking lot, she could still hear the gunfire going on a woman drives by just another shopper uh, opens her door says get in uh, the woman uh, is about to take off and there here come other people who are running from the scene as well she the the woman lets as many people as can fit get into her car and she drives this group of people these folks who just ran out of the mall and she drives them uh, far far enough away to where they were safe uh, she told me she let them off at a grocery store uh, and this one woman who I spoke to she had walked back because she was trying to find out about her vehicle but just stories like that uh, gut-wrenching and uh, just uh, hard to even imagine what they went through in those minutes there in the mall so very latest live Blake back to you yeah all right Dion thanks